We're on lesson seven, measuring angles. Go ahead and look at your learning goal and rate yourself. And measuring angles is when you are measuring angles, you're finding out how narrow or wide an angle is, okay? So if I were to draw a narrow angle, this would be narrow, right? Compared to this angle would be more wide. So when I'm measuring an angle, I'm looking at how close together my rays are. Are they cl really close together, like an acute angle, or are they really wide, like an obtuse, straight, or reflex angle? So here are some things you need to know about a protractor. This is a protractor. And a protractor is a tool for measuring angles. And it has several different parts. You have a center hole right down here. You have a straight edge at the bottom. And you have a curved edge at the top. Now don't worry about drawing any of this. It will be fine. I'll have one for you at school. So here are some steps to measuring an angle. First, you place the center hole over the vertex. You line up or make parallel the straight edge with one side of the angle. You find where the second side of the angle intersects the curved edge. And you read the number on the protractor to find the measure of the angle. And we're going to practice this at school. I just need you to have the directions in your notes for tomorrow. Now, if you want to draw an angle with a protractor, you draw a ray with the straight edge. You place the center hole over the starting point. You place a dot at the angle measure required and you line up the straight edge over the starting point of the ray and dot, and you draw a line connecting the two marks where they meet, and that's called the vertex. Again, we're going to do this at school tomorrow, so do not worry if you don't know exactly what's going on. I just really need you to have these directions in your notebook. All right, for homework, I want you to think about this. If they've never used a protractor, how do they use it? If Jack, if Jake, excuse me, measured an angle at 110 degrees, but realized it was an acute angle, what could he have done wrong? Please look back at the picture of the protractor that will help you. At what angle could you draw that's greater than 46 degrees then less, and less than 90 degrees? I want you to sketch it. What would it look like? Please rate yourself at the end of this lesson, and I will see you tomorrow. Thank you for your hard work.